Hi, everyone, and welcome to this presentation um, regarding how to use the chat function and navigate the front end of the job fair in easyvirtualfair.com. Um, again, if you have not yet uh, seen our video detailing how to build a booth and navigate the back end of your booth, please check that out as well. This video will only be focusing on how to schedule a chat, how to use the chat function, and how to navigate the front end of the fair. To start, I'd like to mention that you want to be using either Chrome or Firefox in order to navigate this website. It will not accept Internet Explorer. You want to make now when you first enter the day of the fair link, you'll come across this banner here. It just says welcome to the virtual career fair for this presentation, but normally it will have the name of the fair that you're attending in there. All you need to do is hit this red X in the top right corner. It'll bring you out of there and you'll see this expo center that may, as you'll see, there's a few different buttons on this screen up in the top, right? You've got login slash register, which is for job seekers for the register button and employers and job seekers for this login button. You have this menu button at the top left, which will bring up a list of all the different sections of the fair, as well as a login register button down here. You've got this red arrow, which you can click or you can scroll to see the pavilions located in the fair. You can scroll back up to come back to this page. Down here at the bottom right, you've got this red chat bar, which will pull up the login window for your chat function if you haven't yet logged in. Again, this is primarily where we're gonna be focusing today, but we will go through that menu option at the top left in order to navigate some of the other sections of the fair so you can just see what it all looks like. Now this right here is where you're going to enter your login credentials for the chat section. And then you'll hit this login button, which will bring up your chat window. Now you've got these two sections at the top, private chat and public chat. You've got your private chat window, which will show any private chats you currently have going on. You've got a list of the other vendors in the site here under exhibitors. And under visitors, you've got a list of any job seekers who are attending the fair. Now with exhibitors, you can private chat them but you will not be able to access the public chat of any other vendor in the site. You will only be able to access your own public chat. With the visitors list, you can private chat any visitors and any vis visitors who are attending the fair will be able to access your public chat and see what's been posted. Now we've already received a private chat from a job seeker. Like, it's, like I said before, this is where those private chat conversations will show up in this little window. If you click on the name of that job seeker, we'll see this message. We've got a message from this job seeker. And we can respond by doing that. If you click this arrow, it will bring you back out to the private chat section. As you saw before, we had this circle with an exclamation point pop up right here. And once we've gone in and read the message that we've received, that will go away. Now, if we click this option right here, public chat, it'll bring up our public chat window. We can leave a message in here that will be displayable to all job seekers within the fair if they choose to enter our public chat. You can send that message the same way that we sent a message in the private chat, and again, that will be displayable to anyone who decides to visit our public chat window. Again, if we hit this button right here, it'll bring us back out to the private chat. Now, as you'll see down here, it shows us logged in for Workforce Solutions and my name right here. If we click on the My Profile button up here, we can change or enter the correct data that we need to into our chat profile. Here, you can add a video chat link for Zoom, WebEx, Google Meet, whatever you'd like to use. That's an open and available chat room that you'll be attending throughout the day if you'd like to. And that way job seekers can always sign in and chat with you face to face. You can also enter your email for job seekers to contact you. And again, your first and last name, which will appear in the fair. When you hit save, 
it'll save that data and you can go back to the home screen via this menu button and clicking on. Now, before we move on and start to navigate through the fair, we're gonna see again what it looks like to schedule a chat. So we're gonna click into this back end of your booth. And again, on this left-hand menu, you've got your different options. Click on chat and click this orange oval on the right that says add chat. And it'll bring up this little pop-up. Now we can type in general Q and A, you know, John from HR, whatever we'd like to for the title. Date is obviously going to be the day of whichever fair you're participating in. Start time. Enter just like that. And if we'd like to, we can put a description in here. As you can see, we've got that little icon again, circle and exclamation point. However, it's located in our public chat option this time. Now this can mean one of two things. Either we've received a message in our public chat or someone has visited our booth, which we can see in the back end. Now, if we click in here, clearly we've received a message so that notification will go away. And again, we can send a message there the same way. Once you click this arrow, you'll come back to the private chat section. If you'd like to log out at any point for whatever reason, you can just click this log out button in the top right. But that is how you use this chat section of the fair. Now, remember, you may get a notification in the public chat window, again, looking like that circle with the exclamation point and hearing that high pitched ding. If you click there and you have not received a new message, what that's going to mean is that someone has visited your booth. Now, if that happens, you want to go into the back end of your booth and via this left hand menu, navigate to visitors. You'll see a table showing those who have visited your booth during the day that you are currently in. You'll see their first and last name, the date they visited and their email address. Over here on the left of this table, you'll see these radio buttons, one located next to the headers at the top of the table, and one for each name who's listed here. Now you can select these individuals by themselves, or you can select everyone in the table by clicking this radio button here at the top left next to the headers. If you scroll down, you'll see two options, export to XLS and send email. We don't recommend the email function as this in the site as it is a little buggy and sometimes will cause some issues. So we normally recommend using the export to XLS function and then emailing directly through whatever email server you use. All you have to do in order to export it to an Excel spreadsheet is click either the individual buttons of those you'd like to export or the radio button at the top for the whole table if that's what you'd like. And then click this button, which will bring up a download if you do want to utilize the information located in that visitor section of the back end of your booth that we went over earlier in the presentation, you want to make sure that you download that from the site prior to the end of the fair. Because it is PII, it will not be shareable to you by the entity who's running the fair, and it will be wiped from the site after the fair is over for security reasons. Now, if we go back to the front end, we've got another alert here. Again, it's in the public chat, so we'll see if it's either someone who's visited or someone who's chatted. And we've got another chat right there. And again, if we click this arrow in the top left of that window, we'll come back out to private chat. Now that we've gone through the chat, as well as how to set one up and check the visitors of your booth, we're gonna go ahead and start navigating through the fair just so you can see what it looks like. You click this red bar again, it'll bring that chat window down. And you'll see this. Whether or not you do that, you can click on this menu button in the top left to access the different parts of the fair. Now this home button again will just bring you back to this page right here, so we're going to stay away from that for now. The info stand is where job seekers and employers will be able to go and ask questions to the entity running the fair. It'll have that attendant in booth and it'll have these different sections right here, just like any other booth in the fair. The menu button now that you've entered a different section will be located up included in this red bar at the top. It works the same way. Employers is the name of the first pavilion we have. And you'll see these two booths that are opened up. 
You can click into any booth, regardless of uh, whether or not it's yours. And you'll see it just as a job seeker does. Down here, you've got these buttons when you scroll down. Or if you scroll back up or leave it where it is once you click into it, it'll show the booth with the images and the attendant that have been selected for it. You can click back to pavilion to go back to the same pavilion you were located in, or you can use the menu button to go to any section of the fair. Veteran services is another pavilion, but since we've already seen this one, I'll just go on forward. We've got job postings, which will show a list of all postings within the fair, regardless of the employer. This way job seekers can easily and efficiently see the different positions, search them by keywords or company name, and that way they don't have to go into every single booth individually in order to check out the positions they're offering. We have visit videos, which will show any featured videos that the vendor of the site has put up for the fair as a whole. We've got exhibitors schedule, which will show those chats which have been scheduled for the day of. And we've got webcasts agenda which will show any webcasts that have been scheduled. Again, these last few sections are so that job seekers can see this information as a whole without having to click through each individual booth. And finally, you can either access your profile again or log out from this menu option, or you can do that up here at the top right. Thank you so much for attending this presentation of the Easy Virtual Fair site and how to utilize the chat function in your booth, check for visitors, download that data, and navigate through the front end of the fair.